Well, welcome to uh, another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 150. Uh, today we're going to uh, uh, do some work on the boat. Uh, specifically, we're going to finish painting the bottom uh, after I tore out the, uh, the, the floor and all that stuff because uh, we're going to get this boat back down to basic basics. Uh, we repair this uh, breadboard. Some interesting things on this breadboard. We uh, we want to fix it without destroying the patina. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And we build another stackable shelf. Uh, de a little decorative shelf to put knickknacks and stuff on. And we're going to do all that today. And you can see we actually get her done. So. Let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. Doing everything else, I'm working on this boat, and I've got the, uh, you know, I've got the the uh, floor all taken out, and all the bracing and all that stuff, and the engine cowling. And right now, I'm taking out the last of the styrofoam. Made quite a bit of progress on getting the uh, tearing out that uh, false bottom and all that stuff. Uh, the biggest uh, slowdown is I put uh, spray in insulation, not spray in, uh, expanding foam insulation. Well, that stuff is like if you've ever used that expanding, that expanding foam uh, Gorilla Glue, that's what that stuff is like see it you can see it here it it it's like glue and you got it you got to scrape it off you got to scrape it off manually like that this is my this is my solar powered drying system and as the sun moves across the sky on this trailer I can just turn it around and keep uh, my boards these are the boards I'm going to use for the deck of my uh, of the boat rebuild now I'll just uh, take my trailer and I can turn it right around till it's facing directly into the sun I got all the expanded foam out of the boat and I put a the first coat of this uh, battleship gray on the inside. Next job is to uh, go ahead and put the final coat on. What I'm using is uh, this no kidding topside um, paint here. It's uh, specifically made for boats. I'm uh, cutting it with a little white because to lighten it up a little bit. I can paint a lot of the uh, a lot of bottom here and the sides. Uh, standing on the floor and just reaching over. But there's a strip right down the center, of course, that I can't get to. So I have to climb in the boat to do this. Then after I, uh, <clears throat> I get the center section done, I can paint all the rest standing outside the boat. Well, I got uh, that second coat on. I put the boat out here, here in the sun, so because uh, the fumes are getting pretty uh, pretty intense in the shop. All right, let's go on to the next project. Our next problem uh, project is this uh, old cutting board. I delivered uh, that cutting board we made a few weeks ago, and. The lady said, uh, showed me this old cutting board, the reason she needed the other one, 
because this one this one broke right down the middle right there um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run I'm gonna run these edges here through the uh, joiner and then I'll be gluing it up on these blocks so that it's supported but this I'm going to try to glue it up where there's very little squeeze out because I'd like to keep this patina if I could uh, which means I'm going to have to have be real careful on the glue up so and getting it off the the workbench will keep the glue from smearing out. Let's run these through the um, uh, joiner and see if we can smooth those smooth that joint out. Okay, I just took a really a, a really a skim cut on them, and you can see if I carefully push them back together, it's a real good joint. Now if I can glue them together and push that joint together the same way, it should, uh, should work. Let me get some. Now I want just ever so small amount of glue on this. I'll spread it out. So what I've done now is I've let this uh, glue get tacky so it won't squeeze out. I showed you that trick before. Okay, I'm going to get that joint up off the deck so if there is any squeeze out it won't smear out. It may seem funny, but I actually rehearsed this. You saw me rehearsing this because I'm trying to so you can there you can see we got very little squeeze out, and what squeeze out we did just came out straight up. So I'll be able to take that off because I want to. I want to put this thing back together without uh, sanding. Um, I may sand it lightly all over, but I don't want to ruin the patina on the thing. If you remember, we uh, we made some uh, stackable shelves. We made some stackable shelves, and then we. Came back and made some more stackable shelves, and they must have liked them because now they want another stackable shelf. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to make this totally different. This is going to be 12 inches wide, 24 inches long, and 9 inches tall. Uh, and we're going to do the legs. Uh, we're going to use uh, dowels, and we're going to run the dowels all the way through the board like you do on a chair. Here's some of the, uh, the recovered stock uh, we, we, re, we uh, recycled from that old uh, TV stand and I think I'm going to use this board right here. Looks like it needs, uh, needs some planing.
Yeah, the way we're going to hold our legs on are the same way you hold uh, chair legs on. Uh, this is a 5 8 inch dowel I'll be using for the leg. I put 5 8 inch holes through the top here and then put my dowel, glue the dowel in, and then it'll be flush with the, uh, with the top. Okay, the next uh, drill is to uh, just put our legs, uh, glue our legs in. It's a real tight fit. Just put a little bit of glue on. It won't take much. And I'll drive them home. Now they got to be, they got to be plumb. If they're not plumb, all bets are off. Okay, one more check for plumbness. Plumbness. No such word as plumbness. It's plumb. Okay, let's let this uh, glue dry and let's go take a look at our cutting board. Let's look at the underside. Okay, I'll scrape that down with a with it very carefully. Knock off uh, what squeeze out I got. I don't think my uh, my friend cares a hoot about patina probably doesn't even would never even give it a thought but we do don't we that's uh butcher block oil that's what you put on cutting boards and wooden spoons and bread boards Salad bowls. Well, I went to sand this, and uh, my legs are a little bit proud of the uh, surface here. Not much, but you can feel it. I don't have time, so I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to fix it. So what I've done here is uh, put that uh, 90 degree brace up there. And to the 90 degree brace, I can clamp my piece to it so it'll be nice and steady. Okay, now the uh, legs are perfectly flushed there, and I can just hit them with some uh, 220. And of course, I need to hit it with some uh, hand sandpaper. This is 220. I'm going to stain it with a color called. English chestnut. This is the same color, incidentally, that I'm going to use to, to uh, stain the new floor in the boat. Now, of course, through the top, I'll go over with tack cloth.
Well, it's not dark enough, so I'm going to put some uh, color called dark walnut on it. Well, that, that's uh, here's our projects for Memphis Monday 150. We got uh, we repaired our cutting board with out doing any sanding so we totally retained all the patina we made our additional stackable shelf and we finished painting the inside of the boat well that does it for another uh, Memphis Monday Memphis Monday 150 today we uh, I uh, worked on the uh, boat. Uh, I haven't shown you any boat work for a long time. Uh, we got the inside of the boat all painted. Kind of had a little review of uh, uh, some of the work that got us to this point. Uh, we repaired this uh, breadboard, and the only hard part about it was trying to repair it without uh, doing any sanding so that we wouldn't... Uh, destroy the patina of the thing. And we had a ret another, uh, our third round of stackable shelves. Uh, used a different uh, leg design. I kind of like the leg design. It's the same uh, design you use when you put uh, legs on, uh, on, you know, chairs, Windsor chairs. So I think we had a pr pretty productive time today. And uh, so, can't think of anything else. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. Thanks for playing along.